Hello everyone, it's uh, Rory here at that Eurovision site and I'm joined by Christa Björkman who is on the jury for Benidorm Fest this year. Uh, good kväll, uh, not good kväll, good, good dag. Good dag. Uh, who yeah. are you? I'm good. Ah, yeah, I'm moving on. Ah, yeah, I'm moving on. Uh, so yeah, um, how is it like being here uh, for Benidorm Fest as, as a juror, I guess? How does it feel? Okay, Sorry. No, first Sorry. of all, it's a huge honor to be chosen to be on a jury. It's a huge responsibility. Uh, especially when the power is so big as it is here, 50%. Um, so um, when you do it, you really have to be sure of the object of it, which is obviously for us to find yeah. the best possible solution for Spain going to Eurovision. That means you have to be beyond your own taste. You have to look at the full package. You need to you know, uh, judge the, the, the quality of the artist, uh, the voice quality, the song, the hit potential of the song, obviously, and then finally the presentation, which is also very important today. So yeah, it, it's it's tough. It's it's very difficult, and the the further you get into the process, and we're now at at the final, and everything that is there is extremely good. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. It, 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 it's great with the like the quality of everything. I mean, like, what are like the main sort of uh, characteristics, I guess, that you're sort of looking out for when you're like, like, casting your votes, I guess. Originality, and and professionalism, and quality. You know, you one doesn't go with the without the other. It, it's like it's a package. You have to look for the full thing, and. Um, they have it. Yeah. And it, it, it's already showing as well with like the, the fantastic uh, stage performances and the vocal talent as well, which is here. Yeah. And I guess as well as, as a show as well, it's, it's quite uh, technically strong as well. I mean, you've, you've been executive producer for Eurovision a couple of times. You've, you've sort of produced Melody Festival in as well. How, how does Benidorm Fest sort of stack up to sort of well, those? Well, I'm very impressed because they've only done this for two years, uh, which is about time, by the way. Uh, they should have a good selection show, and now they do. Uh, I feel they've come very, very far in two years. Uh, they're building it very, very, you know, decisively, very strong, and I think that the quality of what they present is really high. So I, I like it, I enjoy it, and I have had two wonderful evenings seeing what they've done and uh, impressed by the interval acts and, and uh, the performances all together. I'm, I'm, I really enjoy it. Yeah, it, it's fantastic. And, it, you know, it's, it, we've been having such a good time here as well in Benidorm. It's fantastic. So I guess as well, um, what is your sort of hopes, I guess, for, for Benidorm Fest sort of going forward, you know, and maybe, like, could it become, like, the new Melody Festival or, like, the new... Yeah, I'm sure yeah. it can. I, I, I really sincerely hope that they continue to invest in it and it give, uh, that they give it the time it needs because it takes a long time to establish a new format. And... You, you have to come to the point where your viewers have a need for it, you know, that they they would really miss it if yeah. it wasn't there. And that will come. That will come in a few years. But they just have to be consistent and keep doing it and keep making it important. And, and they do. I, I think it's really nice. And I'm so excited about Saturday. It's going to be so great. Oh, uh, yeah, I can't wait for it either. It's going to be amazing. And just while you're here, I want to just quickly ask, uh, American Song Contest, how, how has that been to sort of produce that as well and take Eurovision stateside? Because, you know, it was never a thing before. So how has it been sort of developing the show over there as well? Very different. Very different. Because the, to build a show in America is to do a completely different thing because they are interrupted by commercials after every song. And to us as TV makers, that is like, oh, yeah. how do you build drama when you're interrupted all the time, you know? Yeah. So it's very, very different. But then, of course, the viewers in America are used to it, so I, they wouldn't expect anything else. But it's been a great experience, and I sincerely hope that we get to do a second season. We don't know that yet, but we're, we're hoping for that. Uh, we are extremely pleased with the outcome of the shows. Uh, I loved the, the sort of no roof limit to the props and everything, you know, it was like yeah. a full factory next to the <laughs> studio and it was amazing and I, I loved the music and the, 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 you know, the diversity in music was really good so I, I was very pleased with that uh, we would have loved, obviously, to have more viewers than we did but that's sort of in the hands of the of the network, really we, we can't really do more than 
introduced them to a very good show. Yeah. So let's hope for the best. I'll be keeping my fingers crossed. It was uh, it came across really fantastic on the show, so it's going to be a fantastic. Well, han indebar kväll i morgon, and uh, the absolute best of luck as well. It's going to be fantastic tomorrow. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank so, you much. so much.